So why, what prompted you to actually think about doing this project in the first place? Next year, 2014, is the centenary of the First World War. And we were aware that local communities would want to commemorate this. And this is likely to be going on at a national level. And so to prepare for that, we got involved with various project partners to think about how we could support communities to get involved in their own commemoration activities. So what will you be actually asking communities to do as part of your project that you're running? There are two main strands to what we hope to achieve or help people to achieve. The first is to research the soldiers who fought in the war, some of them are war dead and some of them returned. And the second part is to look at what the war meant for the communities, both during the war period itself and then afterwards. And so and how will they do that? Will that be, what kind of materials are you expecting to get from, from local communities? And will it be um, an online project or will it be something where their memorabilia is, is here at archives? Well, some of the memorabilia that relates to World War One is already here at Gloucestershire Archives, but a great deal of information is out there in communities. Some of it would be um, written information that, that's, that's there. Some of it is in people's heads as second generation memories passed down through generations, in, either in families or in communities. And we've already had, had some gems of information, some wonderful stories, um, and we hope to be able to gather those too. So it's a case of using what's there and um, collecting in its broader sense some more. And so some of that will be, I suppose, scanned and, and put online on, on the website that you're planning on, on doing. And some of it will then be held here at archives. And so it sounds like you're also planning on recording people's memories and that kind of thing. And those sorts of things will appear on the website too. Is that right? Yeah, we'll support communities to record their own memories and to make that available in a variety of ways. So we'll run training and put online information up about, for example, how do you carry out reminiscence activities, um, how might you go about doing a, a commemorative event or designing an exhibition, and what are your options for putting your information online as well. And what about, and, and in terms of them actually getting that to you, would you be running events or inviting people in here or inviting people to send it to you on email? How is it going to work? We'll be running a number of events with a view to helping people work with their communities to do this activity and we'll be showing them how they can make the most of their research findings um, to share it first of all with their community but also to look after that information and there are a number of ways in which they can do that. We would support them to look at it themselves in their homes or wherever they want to, to keep that. Or, and or, we're able to take that information into Gloucestershire Archives and look after it here. We're also able to take in copies of material if people want to look after um, their precious stuff themselves, as sometimes people do. For us, the main thing is that, that those memories and that material gets looked after for future generations to enjoy, whether that's done within communities or here by ourselves. If it stays in communities, we're quite keen to have copies so that we can share that with the public. And I know that you said earlier that um, it's part of a wider project with various partners, and I'm aware that this is only one of the strands. Can you tell us about some of the other activity that's going on and some of the other partners involved in the project? Yes, the Everyman Theatre are going to be doing performances and workshops based around the information that we find out through the community research activities. The Cheltenham Art Gallery and Museum will be putting on an exhibition of their World War One material and the soldiers of Gloucester Museum are adding to their database um, much more detail about the war dead from World War One. Excellent and in terms of timings Jill, when, when are we expecting this project to fully get off the ground? When are you starting some of your activities? We'll be putting some information out into Parish Council um, the news bulletin at the beginning of November and really from there on in promoting the project widely across the county um, using 
whichever means we can, and through our partner contacts. We'll be contacting schools directly as well. So, um, given that you're starting up some of your activities around in November, December time, if people are interested in getting involved in this project, what can they do now? How can they find out more? Well, we're, put, we're currently putting information onto the archives website that will show them just how to go about doing their research activities. And the address for that is www.gloucestershire.gov.uk forward slash archives forward slash www1.